Welcome back. Oh, I wish I could smell, I wish you could, at home could smell how good it smells in here right now. Uh, Chef Anne Kirsebaum is here from Chef Anne's Gourmet Sauces. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And uh, getting up so early and making turkey for us early, <laughs> early this morning. Um, so you are going to be at the West Coast Christmas Show next week. You're just fresh out of the uh, Circle Craft Christmas right. Fair. Yes. Which Was it a busy time for you? It was. It was a fantastic show. Good. Yes. Good, good, good. Well, I know it's a busy time of year for you, so I appreciate you coming in. And what are we cooking up today? So what we're doing is um, we've done um, a turkey breast with a bone in because of all the flavors from the bone. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we marinated it in our Grand Marnay sauce, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Gourmet sauce with Grand Marnay. So we marinated it overnight. And then we roasted it this morning with sage and everything. Nice. And we're also going to use this to season our stuffing. So we've already caramelized some onions. Mm -hmm. And we've just added the celery now. And we can probably add a little bit more of the olive oil that's just beside you. And um, then we're going to season that with we have some turkey stock over there. And then we're using terra breads. I love the flavor of the rosemary bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, this is the finished product here. And we're going to toss everything together with this and season it with the stock and more of the uh, Grand Marnay sauce. And we're adding pecans, fresh mango, and cranberries. Wow, a very fruity uh, stuffing. It, it is a very fruity stuffing. Nice. And then this is our cranberry and onion confit, which we use as a cranberry sauce, but we call it the little uh, black dress of cranberry sauces. Because now, what is a confit, Chef Anne? Confit is uh, French for confiture, which is like a jam or a preserve. Okay. So we're also going to serve it on these delicious blue cheese crackers as an hors d'oeuvre and uh, with goat cheese. Mm -hmm. So you can use this. You can also put it on pastry with caramelized pears and blue cheese. It's delicious and it's fantastic in a turkey sandwich. I have a lot of things steaming over here. Am I yes. supposed to be doing anything no, else? No, that's okay. I'm just going <laughs> to... No, just, that's okay. It starts to worry me when things are boiling no, like crazy. I'm just going to move that off okay. a little bit and then I'm going to add... What we're going to do is this is going to be our gravy. So okay. I'm now going to add some of our Grand Marnay sauce mm -hmm. as well as some uh, stock, turkey stock. You can do straight Grand Marnay sauce, but it's, I've done all, all the drippings from the pan are in here. Now this is for the, the gravy at the end. This is for the gravy at okay. the end. And I'm also going to add a little bit of the stock here to flavor it. And then we'll just let that thicken a little. And absorb all the flavors. So no putting in flour or anything like nope. that. No worrying you don't about need getting to. lumps in your gravy. Nothing like that. You can just you don't you know you can whisk it or use a uh, wooden spoon. Okay. And uh, this is all natural, fat-free, no preservatives. What made you put uh, Grand Marnier in your sauce that you marinate with as well? Well, I have a line of um, four original sauces that have tequila, rum, and sherry and sake. And Grand Marnier actually approached me and asked me if I would do a gourmet sauce. Oh wow! With Grand Marnier. Very nice. So we've also done the confit, and we also have a chocolate sauce which is over there, which is lovely for uh, dessert or just to spread it on your baguette in the morning. It's fantastic. All right. Yes. Okay. So, okay, so, so now what we can do is we can... We're I've taken add, ownership of this pan. You, did you have. I did notice that, actually. <laughs> we can put in a little bit of fresh sage in here, which is really nice. Okay. Okay. And you can put fresh thyme in or rosemary or anything like that. And we're going to add... Um, Cranberries. These are dried cranberries, of course. Fresh mango. Fresh. Now, how did you come up with the idea of putting mango in stuffing? I know cranberry very often is in stuffing, but I've never heard of mango in stuffing. Well, before. I like it because the cranberries are um, quite tart, so mm -hmm. I just love I love the um, the sweetness of the and I love mango, so I, I use them a lot. Okay. So these are our caramelized pecans that I caramelized a little bit earlier in a little bit of honey and sugar. And that's just on a tray with honey and sugar in the oven? I actually did it in a saute pan, and oh. then I put it on a tray, um, a baking sheet lined with tin foil and a little bit of uh, vegetable oil so they wouldn't stick. And when I finished caramelizing them, I put them in the oven for about 10 minutes to finish them. Oops, I'm spilling out here. It's okay. <laughs> and this is our terra bread, the rosemary bread here. And basically, we're going to add everything together. So I'm going to add okay. a little bit of this turkey stock to moisten it, along with some more Grand Marnay sauce. Now, I would think this is the, the tricky step. How much liquid to put in so you don't end up with a soggy stuffing? Right. Well, what we're going to do is there's there's a little bit of liquid in the, the fruit as well. Mm -hmm. So we can either, I think I'm just going to put this right in. I'm going to use my tongs here. And then I'm going to add some of the, we can just toss that. Okay. The tongs are probably the easiest. A 
a little bit more in here. And then we'll add some more of the Grand Marnay sauce. Because you can never have too much Grand Marnay. Never. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> so I'm good. cooking with you always. <laughs> there we are. And so we'll just toss that a bit. We can even turn the heat off there on that. Okay. And, uh, and then basically we put it into this corning ware and you can roast it in the oven with your turkey. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's absolutely delicious. So I have the finished one right here. And then we've carved the turkey here. And we're gonna serve with the turkey the confit. So you can either warm the confit up a little bit or you can um, just serve it like a typical cranberry sauce on the side. Okay. Just like this. How long do you cook this in the uh, corning in the oven? Um, it just depends how hot your oven is, okay. so it's always good just to test it, but um, you just want it to be nice and, um, of course, warm in the center. And if it starts to become too golden on the top, just like your turkey, then you're going to put a little foil over it. Okay, so, so you it, don't dry it out. So you don't dry it out, yeah. So It smells delicious. And that's it. Perfect. And then that just goes right into here. All and right. And we serve this with uh, cranberry sauce on the side. And then we can just ladle um, our gravy. Excuse me. No problem. Now you are going to be, again, at the West Coast Christmas Show starting yes. next week. Yes, it starts on Friday. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be doing a demonstration on the stage at 2.30 on Friday. There you are. Perfect. And then oh, you have that looks turkey. delicious. And uh, the confit, as I said, is also delicious in a turkey sandwich. And I like to put stuffing in my turkey sandwiches too. Oh, a little yes. Bit. So, I love yeah. the stuffing in the turkey sandwich. Yeah, it's really Chef nice. Ann, thank you so much thank for you coming for in. Me. Uh, thank you. Again, the West Coast Christmas show happens uh, from this Friday, November 30th to Sunday, December 2nd at the Tradex out in Abbotsford. WestCoastChristmasShow.com is where you can get more information on that. Good luck out there, Thank you. and you'll have all of your products if folks want to come by yes. and pick up yes, some confit will. or Absolutely. Grand yes. Marnier sauce. Yes, they'll Perfect. all be there. Thank right. you very much. Thanks a lot, okay. Chef Ann.